Squad ball is a sport that integrates aspects from rugby, basketball, and dodgeball to create a fast-paced, mixed-gender game that features seven players per side. Okay, so quad ball is played on a grass or turf field with three hoops of varying heights on each team's half. There's four balls in quad ball, one quaffle and three bludgers, and the players run with brooms between their legs and must complete all the play while on broom. If a player comes off broom at any point, they have to tag the center hoop on their team's half before resuming play. All right, so there's a lot of different positions. The first two are chasers and keepers, known together as quaffle players. They use the quaffle, a slightly deflated volleyball, to try to score through their opponent's hoops. There are three chasers per team, and they wear a white headband, and there's one keeper per team, and they wear a green headband. The keeper is only different, and they can't be interfered with in their team's keeper zone, which is an area around the hoops when they possess the quaffle. On offense, all four players move the quaffle by running and passing and shooting to attempt to score. A good goal can be scored from either side of the hoop, and it's worth 10 points. On defense, players can tackle each other, and we're talking full contact to prevent the other team from scoring. Beaters, distinguished by black headbands, use the bludgers, dodgeballs, in attempts to knock out the opposing team's players. Each team has two beaters at any given time. A player of any position that is hit by a bludger thrown by the opposing team's beaters must dismount their broom, drop the ball they possess, and tag in on the center hoop before they can rejoin play. Beaters help their quaffle players on offense to clear paths to score, as well as work to stop opposing teams from scoring. Okay, so seekers, the ones with the yellow headband, pursue the snitch runner in an attempt to grab that snitch tail from their shorts, kind of like flag football in order to earn 35 points for their team. They don't enter the game until after the 20 minute timeout and they leave the game immediately after a good catch has been recorded. The snitch runner is an impartial official whose sole purpose is to prevent the seekers from catching their snitch tail. They can grab, push, wrap, or run away from the seekers to stop them from catching the snitch. The snitch runner comes onto the field after the 20 minute timeout and stays until they are caught. Quad ball is played in two halves. The first consists of a time 20 minutes, and the second ends only when the set score gets reached. During the first half, the quaffle players and the beaters work together to score goals and stop the other team from scoring goals. When the game clock hits 20 minutes, there's a two minute timeout, and that's when the seekers and the snitch runner get introduced. At the same time, they're gonna determine the set score. It's determined by taking the total of the leading team score and adding 60 points. The set score gets indicated on a scoreboard, which will be separate from the game score. And whichever team reaches the set score first, either through only quaffle points or with the addition of that snitch catch, win the game.